So we have students in here working on our new Chromebook carts that just came in. Uh, we have a whole bunch of students wiring them up. We got 242 new Chromebooks. They're actually an improved model from the last ones we had. They flip all the way around so they can act like a tablet. Um, so they're pretty cool. So we're getting you guys more technology in your hands. So the, big, the biggest push from the county, I believe, well, number one, we always need more technology because we live in a technology-based world. Number two, the push for this year is because all of our testing this year is going to be online. So in order for you guys to be successful on your online tests, you need online, you need Chromebooks to be able to practice with so you can understand what online testing looks like. So the cards themselves come in pieces. Um, they come in a couple different boxes. Then we have the Ag Mechanics classes with Mr. Hammond, put them together. They actually put together sheet metal with screws and all that stuff. Then they come up here and we have more people have to put in enough chargers for each computer in the cart. So they have to be wired in and secured so that they don't just flop around everywhere. Um, and then the computers themselves get put in. They have to be scanned into our inventory system and then they're good to go. They've already been in use right now. The computers have been just without the carts. So these new carts should be ready in the next day or two. So if you had a class where you had an old nasty rolly cart with a bunch of computers stacked on that, that shouldn't be happening anymore after the next couple of days. The Mount Juliet Breakfast Rotary Club handed out checks to the football team for their assistance with Taste of Mount Juliet. They also presented checks to the orchestra and choir for their assistance and even more checks to new teachers to help them throughout their new year. So we've got all these exciting things that we're doing, but we've got community support helping us do this. So this is something we're, we're most appreciative, and I know each group is, so just keep on keeping on. <laughs> and what we say, bear pride, right? Bear pride. <laughs> After you're not, put it all together. You got it. You got it. Okay. All right. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Relevant, closely connected, or appropriate to what is being done or considered. Hey everyone, welcome back to Name That Word! I'm your host, Jackie Nesquik, and today no, I have a couple of excellent contestants. This video, this video is not relevant to today's word of the day, okay guys? Okay, there we go. Ow, look at you, Jason. Oh, sorry. It's not relevant. No, no, it's not relevant. Yeah, we didn't. Sorry. Relevant, closely connected or appropriate to what is being done or considered. Um, what do you feel you can do as a coach to help keep the winning streak going? Uh, I try to stay out of the way because when you've got a senior dominated team, you let them lead as much as possible. We've talked a lot about being five years ready. This team is five years ready. What does this team mean to you? Uh, we're one big happy family, really. Every, everybody is like brothers. It's a big old family. Always got people to rely on. Brothers are always got my back. Not a team, really. More like a family. Uh, always have my back, no matter what. And I know I can always depend on them. And what do you feel you can do as a player to help keep the winning streak going? Uh, we just have to keep our intensity up there in practice. And basically, keep up the film study. You know, get more hours on that. How do you feel about your upcoming schedule? I'm feeling pretty confident, but we just got to take it week to week, see how everything plays out. Take one game at a time, first one on schedule. feel good about any team, though, if it's with my team, though. feel pretty good. we got a couple tough games ahead of us, so we'll see how we do. Who do you feel on the team deserves more recognition? Uh, mainly our scout team players. You know, We recognize them on Sundays, but I feel like community and school deserves to give them a lot more recognition. I think the uh, both the offensive and defensive line need more recognition because they really affect the game. 